Hey, this is Zach with Web3 Reviews. Thank you for being with us. Today is Monday, August 12th, and we're going to be talking about the Flare Network and some projects going on there, mainly Skepter and Kinetic Marketplace. Let's go. Remember so that see- none of this is financial advice. So we see this tweet from Skepter. They say that the S Flare supply on Kinetic Markets explodes past 250 million S Flare. We see this tweet from Cat Analyst. The Kinetic Marketplace Jewel token has put the USD and Flare total volume locked back on the map, guys. Congratulations is in order. And we see that the total volume locked is $5.4 million as of 2023. And we're back there today. Thank you to Kinetic Marketplace. Dan Rocky, consider how popular the Kinetic Markets platform is. Just look at the amount of US dollar tether and US dollar coins supplied to the lending protocol. Basically, all stable coins bridged by Stargate are consumed by Kinetic Marketplace. Supply totals for US dollar coin, 90% APY, and they have $430,000 worth of USDC on there. And then we have this thing here where it shows you that if you had 100,000 S Flare, it would currently be worth 106,000 wrapped Flare. So Skepter Flare, you can stake it on a Gnosis. You can lend it out on Kinetic Marketplace. DeFi Daddy says amazing token launch for Jewel. And we see right here that it has been going up since it came out steadily. And that it is currently, that it's currently at 5.5 cents. Kinetic has their own token, the Jewel token. And somebody asked, what do you get when you stake the Jewel token? They said you receive APY as well as you also receive the key token, KII. I thought that was interesting. I need to do more research on Kinetic Market, and I'm going to come back and do another video when I've really gone through and studied it and played with it myself. DeFi Daddy says, no-brainer investment. Why? As total volume locked skyrockets with new assets, governance becomes crucial. Pooled lending is the most significant, te- techno- is the most significant technology in DeFi. Jewel to $1 by end of year. You guys know I appreciate a good price prediction. It's at $0.05 cents right now. He's predicting a good times 20 to get to $1 by end of year. If you know, you know, Andrew M on Twitter says, has anybody successfully borrowed USDC from Kinetic Markets? If you have, I want to hear about your experience. I tried it, but it said the pool had reached its borrowing cap. Can the borrowed USDC be sent to a centralized exchange? If so, I'm never selling Flare. Outside the box responds, for what reason are you saying I'm never selling? And Andrew gets back to him. Taking small loans on appreciating assets versus selling is a great way to avoid capital gains tax and always keep the asset. There it is. Brent says, if you are utilizing kinetic markets, please make sure you keep your health factor above 1.0. This is particularly important if you're utilizing S Flare as collateral when there is a price drop. So kinetic, it's like Nexo or Celsius. It allows you to borrow against your assets sounds like it also allows you to lend your assets to others to borrow. So it's a decentralized version of Celsius or Nexo. Now Celsius failed and there was a bankruptcy settlement and they ended up having to use people's funds to pay for them. Keep that in mind. So it sounds like if your health factor gets below 1.0, you could be at risk of getting margin called or collateralized. You know, it's pretty much the same thing when you're lending. If your health factor gets too low and if you don't have the money to replenish it, you get your bag taken. And it happened on Nexo and there was an XRP crash and a lot of people got liquidated. So it's sad when that happens. Now Connect Everything says, looking to release some of my flare bags value by taking out a loan on Kinetic Markets in order to buy more Songbird pre-F asset launch. Has anybody managed to do this without using a CEX, centralized exchange? DeFi Daddy says, yes, you trade flare to ETH on a Gnosis and then bridge the E-ETH, Gnosis ETH, to Songbird to trade against Songbird. That's how I'm doing it. Dan Rocky says, that's good to know. So Enosis is facilitating an E-ETH bridge between Songbird and Flare. We can call it E-ETH. I think that's what we should call Enosis ETH. E-ETH. Crypto knowledge. Yeah. If you know this movie, then you're a real one. Airplane. Flare's taking people out. He's taking out the FUD. He's taking out Lair Cake. He's taking out the markets. We don't care. We're Flare. We're sitting at 1.5 cents. This is a steal. If you're not in Flare, are you even playing crypto? I don't know. I don't know, but Flare's hitting the road. They're headed to Korea Blockchain Week. They're headed to Token 2049 Singapore. They're headed to the DeFi Security Summit DevCon in Thailand. And they're headed to ETH Global Bangkok. Catch Flare on the road if you're out in that part of the world. Asia, what a place. And they're on the up and up when it comes to tech. Asia knows what's up. They're not behind the curve. They're ahead of the curve. Okay, so the fact that Flare is going there, they're going to be making waves. Flare says, reminder. XRP testnet will reset on August 19th. The F assets open beta will also be reset. All right, here it is. We'll see if it's any better than last time. I can only assume it is. A lot of people had problems with the no agents available, so you couldn't mint your assets or redeem. Here's a chance. We're going to see if Flair is able to handle it this time. Thank you all for being with us. Zach with Web3 Reviews. Until next time.